So for years now I've been building websites and getting them ranked on the first page of Google. But with the rise of AI, the SEO game have quickly been changing with Google working on generative AI search. But will this completely kill SEO? Who knows, maybe not as yet. Probably in a few years, some websites will disappear from the Google search results page and be replaced by generative AI search from Google. Nevertheless, you still have time to improve your SEO game and bring in the most traffic and make bank before this happens. Speaking of making bank, in this video, I will also show you how I monetize the traffic that I receive through SEO. With that said, let's go to my Google search console so that I can show you some of my current ranking positions for different keywords. This is my performance report on my Google search console. So as you can see below positions, I have a few number one positions, some number twos, number threes, number fives, and the list goes on. I'm going to go to Google and search for a few keywords so you can see my positions live on the Google search results page. As you can see, I'm ranking number one for this search term. Let's search for another term. So as you can see, I'm on the first page for this search term with only some very popular websites such as YouTube, Pinterest, and Medium above me. And let's do one more search term. And I'm ranking on page one for this search term as well. In this video, I will show you step by step exactly how I did it. So you can also get your website ranking on the first page of Google and start getting traffic which you can then monetize. Firstly, what is SEO? SEO which stands for Search Engine Optimization is the process of growing a website's organic search traffic. This means taking actions to appear higher in a search engine's result page. Now you might be wondering, what are some of the actions you have to take to appear higher in the search engine's result page? So one of the first thing you want to understand is something called topical authority. Topical authority in SEO refers to a website aiming to become a trusted expert on specific topics. This helps search engine recognize the website expertise and improve its chances of ranking well for related keywords. Imagine you want your articles to rank high on the topic of CPA marketing. Publishing a single article about CPA marketing might not be enough to compete in this competitive niche. Why? Because CPA marketing is a broad niche and attempting to cover everything in one article could be overwhelming. To establish topical authority, you should cover all the different aspects of CPA marketing. So I'll show you how I did that on my own website. So here I have a category for CPA marketing. And you can see I have an article on free CPA marketing landing pages. How to make money with CPA marketing for a specific CPA network called OG Ads. Then I have the same for another CPA network called Max Bounty. Then I go more in depth on a specific CPA network called OG Ads. Now let's go to this specific article. As you can see I cover what is CPA marketing, how CPA marketing works as well as how it works on this specific CPA network. Then I went on to cover more specific stuff inside of CPA marketing such as the network, the niches, the landing pages and the traffic sources. So I'm establishing topical authority within the CPA marketing niche. Topical authority is gained when a website completely covers a topic, rather than focusing on individual keywords. This approach boosts the site's credibility and visibility to both search engines and users. So when you find your niche, you want to establish topical authority. Now once you have established a strategy to build topical authority for your website, the next step is to have good on-page SEO. You might be wondering what's on-page SEO. On-page SEO involves optimizing the content and elements directly on a web page to increase its visibility and ranking on search engines like Google. The main goal is to make it easier for both search engines and users to understand the information on the page. This includes improving various aspects such as keywords, headings, and images so that your web page becomes more appealing and understandable to both search engines and people searching for relevant content. While Google does consider the keywords present on your page, simply repeating keywords excessively is not a good strategy for on-page SEO. In fact, overdoing this can actually negatively impact your rankings. 
Instead, let's take a look at one of my articles that have a positive impact on my web page visibility. So you want to use the h1 tag for your page title. Using heading tags, which include the main heading, helps Google in understanding the content present on your web pages. Next, you want to use h2 to h6 tags for your subheadings. Here I have a h2 tag, then I have a h3, then I also have a h4, and even a h5. By doing this, it improves your content's visual hierarchy. This helps searchers to quickly understand and navigate through your content. Next, you want to work on your title. So you want to have compelling titles. This is the main piece of information used to decide which result to click on. You want to keep your title short, descriptive and ensure it matches the search intent of the user. So you are telling the user that you have what they want. Make sure to include the main keyword in your title. Next, you want to write a captivating meta description. Meta descriptions don't directly affect how high a website ranks in the search results. However, they can attract more clicks and visitors. Google often uses them to show a short description in the search results. So here's my meta description for this article. You want to keep it short, ensure it matches the searcher's intent even more, and include your keyword because Google usually make your keyword bold in the search results for the meta description, as you can see on one of my articles here. Next, you want to make sure your URL structure is set up correctly. So your URL shouldn't be filled with random letters and numbers. Make sure your slug is relevant to your content, which you can do by using your main keywords. For my slug right here, I have made money with OG ads, which entails my main keywords and is relevant to my content. Next, you want to make sure your images are optimized. Images on your website can also appear in Google image searches and bring more visitors. So let's take a look at one of my images I use for my article. You want to use a descriptive file name as you can see I have here. And then you want to have descriptive alt text as you can see here. Once you have good on-page SEO, the final step is link building. Link building is the process of getting other websites to link to pages on your website. These links are called the backlinks. Its purpose is to boost the credibility of your website in the eyes of Google so that the pages on your website rank higher and bring more search traffic. Links are like votes for your website in Google's eyes. They are one of the main things that decide how high your pages show up in the search results. When other websites link to yours, it's like saying, hey, this page is important. This helps Google to figure out which page should be at the very top when people search for something specific. So you're going to need links. Now let's get into how to build these links. The first way is by just adding links. You can do this by going to forums that's related to your niche and manually placing your link there. The way I like to do this is by going to Google and type in URL colon forum and your niche. For me, it would be CPA marketing. So these are all the forums that are related to CPA marketing where I could go to build a backlink to my website. You can also find blogs related to your niche and leave a comment along with a link to your website inside an anchor text. Getting links through this method might seem easy, but because they are so simple, Google doesn't think they are very valuable. Sometimes they could even be seen as spam. These kinds of links don't really make you stand out from others. If you can put your link on a website by yourself, your competition can do the same. But don't dismiss these tactics completely. They can still help your website in ways that aren't just about improving your search ranking. Another way to build links is by asking for links, and one of the best ways to do this is through guest posting. This is where you create useful content for someone else's website and link to your website within that piece of content. But the truth is, it's really tough to convince random website owners to put a link to your site on their website. Either you need something really good that impresses them a lot, or you got that cash ready up front. Though there are some webmasters that would give you a link, and in return you give them a link to their website, so you're exchanging link. Some will even accept a shoutout on your social media. But if I'm being honest, what most people are willing to accept for a link is money. And that's just the truth. Speaking of being honest, the next way to build links is by buying. And even though Google is against this, there are webmasters who do this to quickly get their web pages up in the rankings. But if you do not have experience with this, you might end up wasting a lot of money on cheap spammy useless links, which might get your website penalized by Google. Now even if I didn't advocate for this, not telling you would be unfair because people in SEO do buy links and get away with it. Moving on to the final way to build links which is my favorite and that's to earn links. 
These are links you acquire to your pages without even asking, but that only happens if your content is truly great and others want to mention it. However, people can't link to things they don't know about. So even if your stuff is great, you need to show it to people. The more people see it, the better the chance they might link to it. So you want to be sharing your content on the different social media platforms such as Facebook, Pinterest, Reddit, and all the other social media platforms that you can share your web pages on. Just to show you an example, here's one of my posts I shared on Reddit about 2 years ago that got to the top of the affiliate marketing subreddit and this day my website traffic skyrocketed and I received some backlinks from this post. So when you're just starting out, this is one of the best ways to start acquiring links naturally. Your content just needs to be really good. This is my favorite way to build links to create good content so that people have no choice but to link to your content. And this goes back to establishing topical authority within your niche. Now once you establish topical authority and applied all these SEO techniques, your traffic will start to increase and of course you'll want to monetize this traffic. So now I'm going to show you how you can monetize your traffic because SEO is some of the best traffic there is. The first way I monetize my traffic is through placing display ads on my website. If you look at my website, you can see that there are ads on it. Whenever someone visits my website and engage with these ads, then I will earn money from Google AdSense which is the ad network that I'm currently using. I am also a part of the Ezoic ad network which is also another good ad network. Another way I monetize my website is through affiliate marketing. So there are different affiliate products and services that I use and recommend in my posts such as web hosting. WordPress themes and different softwares. These are the products and services I usually use in my niche and so if I think it's useful to my audience, then I recommend it. I am not going to show you all my earnings as I promote different services and products so I'd have to make a complete breakdown video on my affiliate earnings. Here's what an affiliate commission looks like from one of the products that I promote and multiple of this commission from this network can come in each day. The other way I monetize my website is through sponsored posts. So there are people that reach out wanting to create a piece of content on my website talking about their service or product and they pay me for that content. Now I don't take much sponsored posts because I have to trust the product or service in order to give out a backlink because this will in return boost their website in the search results page and bring that website more traffic. I have to ensure that websites that I'm linking to are credible because this can also affect my credibility in the eyes of Google. So this is how I monetize my website from the traffic I receive from SEO. This is my simple SEO guide to start ranking your website on Google and increase your traffic. And not only increase your traffic but also monetize your traffic. I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, peace.